again, Jay All Day. We are remembering Marcus Mitchell, a.k.a. Scandal, the Ruckus Man, throwing a literary O to Mildred Fallon, Ill Mill, and Mr. Mike Breen, City Beat. They have reposted an interview, an article uh, written about Scandal back in 2005, and it's been reposted on the City Beat page, and I'm so proud of that. Mill, I love you, man. And you know this, but it just makes me proud to say that you're my friend and that we all are doing our own part to show how scandal affected us, how scandal was a part of our life, how scandal changed us in some way, and how he will be missed. Again, I'd like to give sincere, heartfelt condolences to Scandal's mom, his sister, his other family members and friends who were there religiously supporting him continuously through this journey. And I'm just, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful to be able to witness this, to be able to be humbled by this, to be able to hopefully heal from this. What I'd like to do is play uh, the last interview I did with Scandal. Um, it saddens me because while he was in the hospital, he wanted me to interview him. I had approached him several times. He finally said yes. And we went back and forth about doing it, and I never got the opportunity to do it. And so, again, I'm going through a little friend's guilt right now um, because of that. But I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But it's time to heal. And so here's an interview, my last interview with Scandal, sharing much of the knowledge that he shared with many of us. I'm Jay Alday. We'll be back live in a minute. Hey everybody, it's Jay All Day, Cincinnati's Conscience. We are here at the real open mic, hosted by none other than Scandal the Ruckus Man. That's right. I am oh so excited to see that not only is this the place where we feature the hottest up and coming, but we also have the hottest making the up and coming possible. Right. Right. Scandal is here sharing his insight on this business called music, and I'd like to ask you why you're doing this. Okay, well first let me give a disclaimer. Uh, my hair and my face is like super gruffy right now because I'm letting it grow out for my photo shoot. The album uh, Big Scary Monster is coming, so I, like for the look and the costume for the photo shoot, I had to get real like wooly, you know what I'm saying, for the look. So tomorrow we're going to go to Capitals and get all made up and into the Big Scary Monster for real. And uh, Fame Juice, we, we're going to get the photo shoot jumping. So excuse my non-shape up, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I get down. But uh, basically, um, I'm doing this to improve the quality of performers in our city. You know what I'm saying? I did, this, I did some surveys, and the surveys were basically saying that uh, people just didn't want to see these whack motherfuckers. Like, because somebody actually said that on the server. Like, they wrote them words out. You know what I'm saying? And then when I talk to people on the street, you know, they're saying the same thing. You're like, look, I talked to some of the more quality performers in the city that I know, and one thing that they're saying is, I don't want to perform with them whack dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't want to be gracing the same stages as the newcomers and the guys that. That ain't necessarily so polished, and y'all know who I'm talking about. All y'all dudes who used to come to Bobbers, you know what I'm saying, and was hot at Bobbers, and now all of a sudden y'all too good to come rock the open mic, you know. And then try to some cats try to blame it, try to say because I'm charging, you know. We on a bigger, we in a bigger forum right now, right. you know. It cost me to throw this shit, you know what I'm saying. So I mean the little, the little bit that I'm charging y'all to rock. It, it, it don't even equal one night of what I paid to do this. One night of advertising, one week of promotion. It don't, what, what you pay and what I pay don't equal out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, we ain't getting rich off on open mics, basically. Right. You know what I'm saying? But what I wanted to do was, I wanted to do like a pre-game segment. You know what I'm saying? Where I could give these guys the tools to make themselves stronger performers and artists. You know what I mean? Like where I'm teaching them how to network. I'm teaching them how to how to rock stages, how to hold the mic right. You know the basic elements of performing that that make them stand mm -hmm. out, even from them people that said they didn't want to rock with them because they flawed. You know what I'm saying? They may got a little bit of rep, but they flawed. You know what I'm saying? So 
So I'm trying to eliminate these flaws and make better performance so that these guys that have real fans coming to see them on a weekly basis. Like, I want to give artists a home, like on some 1930s juke joint type stuff where people could just be like, yo, that's the center of hip hop right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's 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 where I went. Like, where they say they got their start at Bobbers, they got their finish here. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the Super Bowl of the open mics. Why is it important for you to share the wealth of knowledge that you've accumulated with these young cats coming into the game? Because I'm 34, and I just got it about four or five years ago myself, you know? And some of these guys, they just turned in 21, you know? So I want to spare them the time. I want to save them the time. But the, the, the irony of it is I'm doing this for free. Right. This seminar, is, ASCAP do a seminar, is $1,700 to get the information that we're giving away for free. And I got people coming through. This cat's getting other shows off of showing up early to the open mic. Right. right. Now. Just know, happened. Somebody, somebody just got a show just now right. that they didn't have before they came. Right. You know what I'm saying? And found out that the, the connect that they both had, knew, they all knew the same connect. Right. And they're just putting it all together. See, that's what networking is. You know what I'm saying? You never know who in that crowd. But what I'm doing is I'm pulling all the resources. We got Indie by Choice coming next week to tell cats how to get their online marketing up, mm -hmm. how to use the social media networks mm -hmm. to effectively promote themselves. You know what I'm saying? We got Jay all day in here. You know what I'm saying? With, you know, Cincinnati Conscious. A, a real radio station where people can really hear you. I tune in every week. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all ain't in rotation? Because right. y'all ain't submitting nothing. Right. You know? So I'm giving these guys these resources because if nothing else, I'm going to just put it on these guys just don't know. What's your biggest frustration with your willingness to share with these young cats and I'm not really understanding what you're offering them? Well, it, the, the, the thing is a lot of these guys think they're winning already. They think they're successful. It's, it, you know, C.J. the Cynic always says it's, it's all about perception. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you perceive yourself to already be winning, why would you change your formula? You know what I'm saying? It's like some people think winning is having a, 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 a three-bedroom townhouse in Hawaiian Village. Mm. That's, that's, that's luxury living to right. me. You know what I'm saying? But to me, that's still Section 8. You know? Right. That ain't winning to me. Not saying nobody to live up there ain't getting it. No. But 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 I'm saying though, like some people's roof, in they, 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 they I call it the mind's roof is higher than others. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some people got that little little eight foot joint in the apartment. Mm -hmm. Other people got the fifteen foot marble joints. Right. You know what I'm saying? And for me, my roof is really high. You know, my bar, my my standards are really high. So I run into a lot of people that don't really understand or like me right. because what I'm looking at and what they're looking at is two different things. Right. Well, so when I when I say I'm not going to take your CD because it got your handwriting on it or it ain't got no cover or, or no, no contact information or nothing, you try to hand me a blank CD off a spindle. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you burned it your grandma on your grandma's computer, you know what I'm saying? I don't respect that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't respect that when this cats out. When you can easily take... Seventy-eight dollars the hot cards, and get a hundred CDs with covers, a case, and thermal print, and a burn. Seventy-eight dollars. Wow. Come on, yo. These guys is behind the curve, and it's because they don't know that these resources are there. Right. You know what I'm saying? They don't know we got a, we got our own radio station that jumps. Right. They don't know that we got our own internet site that's right. just like MySpace, probably better. Minus the viruses, you know right. what I'm saying? That jumps. So we got two radio stations while we plan, right? You know, and and it's like they they not understanding that they could be their own market, right? If they really want to, but I'm I'm doing these every week to show these guys that they are their own market, right? Jack what time up. do they start again? Eight thirty. Okay. Every week, every Tuesday at the Man Frog, eight thirty. I'm up here giving up the tools to win, yo. And if you want to win, it's fair play, yo. You can't pay for this. And Scandal's not playing. We're talking homework. We're talking about real dedication and commitment to a process. I have one more question for you. Yeah. Why do you still love this game we call music? I love it because now 
it's easier than ever to be successful in it. Mm. People don't see that. Like with the MP3 world in the digital age, I don't need no record deal to be the person I want to be. Mm. You know, if I want to win a Grammy, I don't have to have no record deal to do that. Mm. All I got to do is be my label, push my music, and do them numbers. And I'm, I'm going to do, I, I can do what I want to do my way. You know, the industry is built that way now. Like, I used to chase the record deal, mm -hmm. you know, like a lot of artists here. they still chasing record deals. And that's cool. There's nothing wrong with, with chasing the dream. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going to chase a record deal, it's a way you got to run. You know what I'm saying? It's like track and field. You got some people that's long distance runners and you got some people that's sprinters, but other people doing hurdles. Chasing a record deal is the hurdles, yo. All day. You got to jump. You got to keep jumping all the way to the end of that race. But y'all think it's just a sprint. Right. And it's deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than that. Me, I'm a, I'm a long distance runner now. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got methods and techniques where my music make money to pay my bills and feed my family. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I mean, you know, shout out to Kill Will with the placement. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jay Skills with the, you know, like doing his thing. They both got studios up and running now. Like these are things that cats need to understand. That they need to know that you ain't got to chase them waterfalls. You know what I'm saying? So I'm giving y'all the tools the way you can just make your own waterfall right here. I ain't going nowhere. We're doing it from the natty. Right. Jay-Z ain't got to leave New York to sell a million records. I ain't leaving Cincinnati. I'm here, I'm selling my records here for my people, among my people. Get this, do this, do it now, start face. If you are looking for a way to not only make your vocals, but your business right, y'all need to check out the pre-registration and classes yeah, at man. Scandal's Real Open Mic. For this free. is Jay All Day. Jay you all are day. now officially turned on. Yeah.